for the two, would you do like 50 bucks? Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. Morning. Morning. How much is your PlayStation? It's a uh, it's hundred dollars. Hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, you can read the directions how to put it together, huh? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my gosh. So <clears throat> I wanted to do this last night and get everything completed, but you know, I just got too tired and. Yeah. For my daughter, she worked her butt off, and for this, yeah. we're still trying to get stuff out. Would you mind having a ticket to Uh-oh. America's most wanted property or something? Yeah. Thank you so much, and I will let you know. Yeah, please do, yes. For sure. And what was the place in the other Oh, okay, yeah. Can I turn down? Uh, two. Can I pay you? Yes, sir. We got four of these. You got four of those bad boys? All right, will they a dollar each? Yep. Cool. We're sticking together, but I believe that's four dollars. Thank you. Yes, sir. You have a great day. You too. Just price everything in here. And kind of is the out. music equipment for sale? Um, we have, yeah, there's a keyboard for 20 bucks and we have two clarinets. Okay, but like the audio equipment up there? Oh, ask my mom. Okay. Sure. Thomas, let's follow one small of our audio equipment is for sale. Yeah, it is. Um, but make an offer of anything. I gotta think about that. There's a, there's a PA mixer down here too. Yeah. Okay. I don't need the speakers, but I'd be interested in these. Well, I haven't really thought about it much. I mean, I, I, yeah, I paid like a lot of money <laughs> for that stuff. For the two, would you do like 50 bucks? Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. She offered me the motorcycle for sale. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Well, well, you know, I would say for the right price. <laughs> what would you need for it? Um, I I'd have to give it some thought. Um, well, give me your number and I'll call you. Okay. If you wanna, do you have a pen? I don't. Let me get one for you. Um, Roman, do you have a pen over there? Morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. How much is your jersey? Ten dollars. Would you do five? I would do five. Okay. Thank you. I mean, twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> you have any red stuff? Um, I have a baseball that we believe is signed by a red player. Okay. We're not one hundred percent sure. We know it's signed. <laughs> and we have a Bengals football. There you go. How much are the baseball? Five and ten. Five and ten. Who signed the football? Again, I can't read it. Okay. I know it was a Bengals player. Huh. Hopefully with the big B on it, huh? Right. <laughs> How about 10 for both? Would you do that? Uh, sure. Okay, thank yep. you. I mean, it's a garage sale. We want this stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> you have any video games, Nintendo or anything? No. Those, those aren't allowed to leave. <laughs> right. I understand. Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh my goodness, the toilet light. How funny is that?
I'm gonna buy this. We're potty training my daughter, and I think Isn't she might that get awesome? a, she might get a kick out of that. Yeah. Anything that'll make her want to go potty more is the, it, the idea. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. I can tell you, it's never been out of the box. So. Yeah, it didn't look like you opened no. it. And we got it as a gag gift for one of those Christmas things. Oh yeah. Although I should probably put it in for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. I can sure. tell you the story on those. Yeah? My husband's grandfather worked on the railroad in Pennsylvania. No kidding. Yes. And those were his lanterns. Wow. And I don't know why, but my father-in-law decided to electrify them. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, so he changed them. Yeah. Place. Interesting. Yeah, so they are very old. <laughs> they look old. EBTRR. -R. I'm assuming the RR is a railroad. What's the EBT? <laughs> Eastern Broadtop. Interesting. Right. Somebody who likes trains. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna buy your lanterns. <laughs> yeah. I'll regret it if I don't. Okay. Thank you. Thank Have a great you day. So much. Yeah. Hey, What's up, fellas? How you doing today? Good. How you guys been? You selling some stuff? Oh yeah, dude. No. <laughs> you guys got the setup, man. We it's tent and everything. Yeah. We, just we got we got the TV. Dude. <laughs> we, we know how to have this garage. Stuff, yeah, you got man. the setup. The classiest one of the block. That's right. Got the little grill out here. Make your own little video. Yeah. Awesome. Man, you got it. Thank you. Yeah. Filming right back, man. That's cool. How's the channel going so far? Yeah. When, you, when you when you blasted us, yeah, we're awesome. doing great. Yeah. Since then, <laughs> I think it's because we cuss too much. Yeah. Man. Shout out. You just gotta be you, man. I know, but hey, well, we keep doing it. It's fun. It's, oh, yeah. It takes a lot of time, man. Yeah, but it, that's, that's all we got. That's yeah. right. Just keep doing it. Just don't stop. That's right. I think it took me like a year before I had like a thousand subscribers, yeah. like a really long time. Yeah. Dude, obviously, you know you get the, the dirt cheap. That's right. The dirtiest of the cheap. You guys pulled out a lot of stuff. This was all back there. There's yeah. still more stuff back yeah. there, man. Seriously. Or, hey, hey, if you want to get anything in, in the house, man, let me know. All right. Let's go that organ back there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, 9,000 pound organ ready. Oh, right. man. We can't help you load it. <laughs> My arms. It's right. a cool watch. Care if I take a peek inside? Oh, no, man, by all means. All right. I'll get you in there. Actually, if you don't mind, just let me make sure the dogs ain't yeah, man. all over the place. After you. Thanks, man. Of course. Bag. Oh, very nice. <laughs> How about it? How about it, man? We've rearranged it a little bit. Appreciate it, dude. Have fun, man. Thanks. And dude, you're more than welcome to go downstairs, dude. Okay. Look around down there, anything you see. Dude, I found an eagle shirt. Yes. I know. Like, look at that. How cute is That's that? Oh, mm. my blue jays. What in the world? You know. I've put your music on the top. Sometimes that works, too. Is there anything particular that you're looking for? Not really. Oh, oh, little, and they're going to open it yeah. up. They're going to stop the train there at that stop. So. I got a pile, Whitley. Okay, cool. 
Cool. Um, so I've got yes, records. This is, this Isn't that cool? Hilarious. I love it. What does he say? Looking back at myself. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking back. <laughs> Look at myself? Okay. Okay, and then we got... Oh, you got Atlantis, huh? There's an elf cake thing. Uh, okay. I probably got like 20 records. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sarah, you need to buy that. I just want to see what we got. Yeah, sure. We got some hawks. Okay. Baby's a bud. Funny. Baby? Yeah. Come on in here. I think John's ready. Oh, dude, nice. Here's what. Yeah. He's got some cool stuff. You want to check downstairs, man? You see down there. Sure, let's go. We got tons of fun down here, dude. Tons of fun, new fun. Oh, dude, there's so much fun everywhere. Oh, there's so much fun everywhere. We'll leave Morgan. Hopefully he'll, he'll not, you know, sell all the dirt out there. But, um, this whole rack is stuff I, I cleaned out of my closet that I'm getting rid of, dude. Just, okay. Um, yeah, it just never ends, man. I know. It's it's terrible. Um, got, if you're looking for more, I don't know if you're looking for more vinyls, but I got plenty here I'll get rid of. Always looking for vinyl. I got an antique booth up in uh, Westchester. I started in January. And I can't keep vinyl in. Good man. Well, I got some, I got time I can get rid of, man. Good ones too, man. Cool. Not, not us, dude. We are a bunch of yokes. Let's see. All right, I think I'm good. Cool. Appreciate you bringing them down here. Definitely, my man. Anytime, dude. There's. It's all, everything's always for something. If you ever want some crazy antiques, you have to go through there sometime, man. That's for your booth or stuff. Yeah. Like I said, all this stuff is for sale, man. Yeah. All right, I got the records yeah. there, the toys. Let me know um, about that. And then the clothes and then so this stuff. Cool. Know, she would love that. You tell me what you want to pay, man. You, I, you, you know how it works. I'm cool. We make it happen, yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she'll stop back by. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's yeah. listed. Yeah. I, don't think that's I think she told me for the most part a lot of that was. So I was trying to stay away from. Hey, dude, you, can, you can get any of them. Yeah. This might be uh, the only things listed. Uh, uh, yeah, you tell me, homie. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I can message her. Yeah. I can message her. 120 bucks. Love you. It's good to see you. Done deal. I work. All right, okay. man. Okay. I appreciate working with me. Oh, dude, anytime. You you come here. You tell me what you want to pay, man. Sorry. Oh, absolutely. Did you find some good stuff. Oh, yeah. Good. This is awesome. You got to do like two or three laps because you're just going to miss I stuff. Find more stuff as you come. Well, that makes the next job. Yeah. There you go, Josh. Thank you, man. Thank hey, you, bud. Appreciate it. My dude. Anytime I can help you load it up. Well, yeah, man. Stop back anytime. Yeah, for sure. We're always having fun. Always enjoy having you over, man. Good seeing you. My friend. Take it easy, Be bud. Safe, Good luck with the sale. Oh yeah, been waiting a long time. Yeah. Remind me again what your pink is. Uh, five dollars? Is your pink sticker five? The what? Pink. Yeah. Pink is five dollars? Yep. Five. About 60 years old. That's cool, I'm gonna buy that for five <laughs> bucks. There you go. Thanks. Would you do five on him too since his box is a little beat up? Sure. Okay, thank you. There you go. You guys have a good day. You too. All right, I'm back from the garage sales and I am thrilled with what I found today. Okay, I've got some clothing here. Um, these two shirts, I paid $2 each, and I think I'm just gonna keep these for myself. These are my size, I kinda like them, so. Those will go home with me. This is a genuine Harley-Davidson leather vest, double XL. 
Uh, I got this for $8. I've done pretty well with these in the past. I mean, I, it's been a while since I've sold one, but I'm thinking somewhere in the $40 to $50 range for that. Got some Mickey Mouse toys. Uh, they wanted two piece. I offered three for the pair, and they accepted that. These are probably the coolest thing I found all day. Let me pull these out for you guys. These are old railroad lanterns that were converted into lights. You can see the bulbs in there, and even has some replacement bulbs too. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the bulbs in these and see if we can get them to turn on. I almost didn't buy these. They were $10 each. And I was kind of thinking to myself that since they've been converted into uh, lights, that it would hurt them, uh, especially since they don't have the glass globe. But the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? These are pretty cool. Somebody would want these to kind of decorate the house. And I'm either thinking they'd be good in the antique booth or put them on eBay. I'm not really sure yet. So I went back and got them. I knew I'd regret it if I didn't. All right, let's plug this thing in. This is a pretty old plug, but I don't think it's frayed or anything. So hopefully it is safe. All right, it's plugged in. I think this might be the switch right here. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. All right, one works. Let's see about this one. That one works too. Awesome. Not sure what these are worth, but I'll do a little bit of research. Uh, this railroad, East Broadtop, over in Pennsylvania. I couldn't really find any lanterns from them, so might be a little bit uncommon. Okay, one sale, I got a whole bunch of DVDs. Most of these are uh, TV seasons. We've got like three or four seasons of Arrow. We've got a couple seasons of Batman, Brave and the Bold, Samurai Jack. Um, here's some classic Scooby-Doo's. I might just keep those, actually. I paid $20 for 12 of these. Probably not going to make huge money on these, but I like selling DVDs and series sets and things like that because they're so easy to list and easy to ship. So I jumped on those. Got this old Hi-Ho Santa at one sale. Um, the box is in really bad shape, unfortunately, but I think the Santa himself is okay. I paid five bucks for it. I saw two sold comps. One was like $80 and one was $120. But those boxes were in good shape, so not sure what mine's going to be worth. Got a Black & Decker uh, cordless drill battery and charger. Paid $5 for the pair, and these are not cheap. So I'm hoping this works really well. If it does, I think I can probably get 30 bucks for it. Got this big karaoke speaker for 15 bucks. I think I'm going to give that to my two nephews for Christmas. Got four... Um, fluorescent light fixtures. They were a dollar each new in the packaging, so kind of hard to go wrong with those. I'm thinking 10, 15 bucks a piece maybe. All right, last sale of the day, I went over to see my buddies Josh, Morgan, and Whitley. Josh gave me a heads up that they were having a garage sale. I'm like, you know what? I haven't been over there in a while. So I went over and checked it out. They were kind enough to let me shop inside and I found some toys, a cool hat, uh, let's see, a fossil watch, some clothing. I got a Reds jersey. I'm gonna give this to my nephew tonight, I think, because I'm gonna see him. Uh, this Alf cake pan. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> this has got like the sticker and everything. Like this is awesome. Uh, the shirts I got were pretty cool too. Beavis and Butthead, uh, Chicago Blackhawks, FTW. I don't even know what that is. I just thought the graphics were cool. Aaron Tippin. Here's an Alanis Moore set. Let's see what else. Old WEBN. That's a local Cincinnati radio station. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a Snoopy Orlando Magic shirt. That's really cool. Um, also, at their place, I got a big stack of records. Um, Eagles, Bob Seger. I think there's a Zeppelin down in here. Willie Nelson. Just a bunch of good stuff. I paid hundred. Uh, I'm sorry. I paid hundred and twenty dollars for all that stuff. Got this tricycle on one sale. It is by Hedstrom. I paid five bucks. I've never seen a tricycle with such a big wheel on the front. I just thought that was really cool. It's a little rough, but it's got a awesome look to it and I'm gonna put it in the antique booth I think it'll do pretty well at the same sale I got the railroad laners I got some sports memorabilia this is I think it's a Jeremy Hill pretty sure it's Jeremy Hill uh, Bengals jersey for five bucks I don't think he's with the team anymore but it is a genuine Nike no I'm sorry Reebok is it Reebok no it's Nike genuine Nike NFL jersey so I think I'll do okay with that. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. I got this toilet light for a dollar. We're potty training my daughter, so I think she'll get a kick out of that. So I'm just gonna keep that. 
I got an autograph uh, football. I think that might be Kevin Whitworth. Not totally sure. I'll have to look up and see who was 68 for the Bengals. But that's pretty cool. And then here is an autograph ball for Cincinnati Reds. I want to say that's maybe Sean Marshall, number 45. It's got the um, sticker on there, so I can go ahead and look it up, actually, and figure it out. If you guys ever find um, an MLB autograph and it's got some kind of sticker on this, like a hologram with the MLB logo, you can go to the MLB authentication website. Uh, it's You just Google MLB authentication, look up, and it'll pop up. So you just put in the code. So we've got EK585901. Sean Marshall. Yep, I was right. Not a big name, but still cool to have it on a baseball. Might be worth, I don't know, $15 or something like that. Josh, Morgan, and Whitley, thank you so much again for letting me shop around the house. It was good seeing you guys again. And for those of you watching, if you don't know, those three have a YouTube channel. They started it a few months back. It's called Mojo Casher Threads and they just document all their wild adventures. Those three are a lot of fun. I highly recommend checking out that channel. I'll put a link down below in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>